Well, welcome to Mullet Man Racing. This is my 72 Nova. Um, this was a bracket car at some point before uh, we decided to tear it all apart and and gutter and, and make her all naked. Um, this I did, like I said, run this as a bracket car. Ran this in the uh, Pro Class in the Summit ET Series. Um, it was a really great car. Won some races in it. Was able to get this guy out of it. Won this at uh, Sacramento Raceway. Got a Hot Rod 2017 championship out of that. Um, it was a re really good car. Still is a really good car. Body's real straight on it. Um, just uh, just wanted to try something new and and go run with the big guys and and decided to uh, put this spicy little unit up there. Mount this guy up front. Um, this is an 85 millimeter VS Racing Turbo. I believe it's a 132 AR ratio, um, and it is going to be pushing some boost into uh, this small block Chevy. This is a 383. Um, got really good rotating assembly in this, and uh, should be a should be a good little motor for what I want to do with it. Um, I did get a hold of Iski probably about a week ago, and uh, dealt with them had them get me a cam um so they were awesome to deal with and very very great company highly recommend dealing with them they really know their stuff um so hopefully i'll have that cam here in about a week and then i'll take this up to my engine builder and have him change the rod bearings and the main bearings in it and uh oh we got the shop cat there that's opal always hanging out in here helping helping build race car stuff um, so anyways, yeah, I'll take this up to my engine builder, have him go through everything, and uh, once we get it back, we'll put these uh, aluminum Dart One, Dart Pro One uh, cylinder heads on here, and uh, she's already wondering what's going on here. You see the intake? This is a new intake, AFR. This is how the uh, water jacket's front and back. So we're able to get some water to those back cylinders, cool them off a little bit, because that's, that's a big issue with some of these uh, intakes is they don't push a lot of water back there to those cylinders, so they get pretty hot. So since we're going to be trying to make close to about a 1,000 horsepower a little bit more, um, we definitely, definitely need the, that water back there. Um, so, But as far as the chassis upgrades, we got a, uh, we're going to be doing a new rack, uh, manual rack and pinion. So we will be cutting this piece out here, and I believe Smith Racecraft makes it. So we're going to be cutting this piece out here and uh, drilling a little bit out there. And then uh, the whole rack will mount down under there. It'll be a nice little piece. And then uh, we got fiberglass fenders and doors coming for this guy. And I did get this um, uh, Rods Customs radiator support because I don't want to do a... I don't want to do a whole fiberglass front end. I, I like the factory look front end. I think it looks really good. And I just don't like the sticker or the paint on it. Just to me, it just doesn't look the same. Um, so I wanted to stick with this. So that's why I'm just going with the fiberglass fenders. Um, but uh, yeah, we're also going to be mini tubbing this thing because it is going to be a small tire car. I want to want to keep this thing a little spicy, make a lot of power on a small tire and and get set down some sketchy streets and and uh, see what this thing will do. Get to get to party on small tires. But uh, we got some Detroit Speed Mini Tubs here. So we'll be cutting those out. Those are the factory wheel tubs. So we'll be cutting those out. We're also going to be cutting out some of these bars in here and, and changing them up and putting a funny car cage in here. Um, I do want to change a few of these bars and I think these bars going down they're gonna have to be cut anyways because they're pretty close to those wheel tubs and i think the new wheel tubs are going to hit those bars so we are probably going to have to cut those out and move them over closer together um which not a big deal totally doable but uh just adds another thing to the list you know but that's all right so yeah we're going to update the cage i cut the dash out of it we're going to be putting a new fiberglass dash in it um, we're going to be running a grid setup in this thing and all aeromotive fuel system. So it's going to have a brushless pump in it, uh, aeromotive uh, boost reference uh, fuel regulator, and we are going to be running on E85. Might be going back and forth to methanol, just depending on what we want to do. Um, 
We've got a 12 bolt in it right there. But obviously, as you can see, it is out. Um, and actually, there's the old uh, old steering right there that I yanked out of it. But anyways, we're going to be putting a 9-inch in this thing. So we're going to do a 9-inch, and it's on leaf springs right there. I got a cow track set up on it. But we're actually going to we're gonna be changing this, this all up. So the buckets in here, that I think they're mounted like right in here somewhere underneath. We're going to be taking those out, and I forget who makes them, but you actually have to cut a hole in the floor and they stick up a little higher so you have some adjustment in ride height um also yeah I, I think it's just ride height but it might also be tuning ability too um we're gonna be putting it on sliders in the back and uh we're gonna leave it on mono leafs um so just trying to build this thing to where we can have some adjustability and also uh, get it to sit you know pretty low so it'll look pretty badass but these are the old wheels and tires. We're going to get rid of these. Go with some RC comp bead locks. Um, so those will be those will be pretty sweet. Can't wait to skit those. Um, might also get rid of these fronts as well and put some RC comps up front. I think these are built specialties. But uh, really good wheels. Just want to maybe get them matching front and back. Because um, those RC comps, man, they're, they're badass wheels. Super, super badass wheels. Um... So yeah, we're all, we're gonna be doing a wing parachute. Um, I am gonna be running a different hood, six inch cow hood. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna run. I believe it's a Sunco hood. It's the one that kind of bubbles up and then comes back down. And I think those 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 hoods are in right now. They're just they look freaking cool. They're badass. Plus it's gonna come up to the window here. Uh, I'm gonna be putting Lexan windows in the in the front and back. But it is gonna come up to the window to where I don't have to run that vent plate up front where the wipers used to be. So kind of get rid of that, make it a cleaner look. Um, and then I'm gonna be, I got uh, Willwood disc brakes on this thing and I'm gonna be running TBM brakes on all the way around on this cause TBM brakes is like top of the line. Their wheels or their uh, brakes and their bearings, they're just awesome. You just can't beat them. So we're gonna, we're gonna run those all the way around and uh yeah i mean we got a ton of stuff going on so uh stick around and uh see what we got in store we're gonna hopefully be pushing out a bunch of content for you guys because this is gonna this is gonna be a crazy build and it's gonna be a while so i'm hoping i'm hoping we can get this thing all the parts coming in and uh get everything here and then take it to the chassis shop and let them build everything out. And then once we get the car back from the chassis shop, we'll, uh, we'll start wiring this thing, running fuels, fuel system. Uh, I am going to run an air to water intercooler. So I'm going to mount that up here somewhere. So we're going to have to run water hoses all the way back to a tank in the back. Um, like I said, we're going to do parachute. So we got to run the parachute handle. Um, I do have a K and R set up in this. Um, as you can see, the switch panel right there. Um, and I love k and I I think it, I, they make a really, really great, easy functioning product. Um, I'm going to try and use that as best as I can. But I think with all the new stuff, and I think here is even the, there's the, the board right there for it. So I even put it on a panel because I'm going to mount the panel in right here somewhere. Um, somewhere where it's, I can get to it easy and be able to see if a fuse blown or, or whatnot, but we're going to figure all that out. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to have to have an X put in here. So we might mount something on this side to where we can kind of get to stuff easy. Um, but yeah, I'd like to use the K and R setup as much as I can, uh, because it's, it's just really great product. It, it's, it's really awesome. They make it super, super simple to wire up a car. Um, I mean, hell, if I can do it, anybody could do it. So, um, like to use that. If not, I'll have to get an additional switch panel just for some, uh, um, some other, you know, small stuff for like the uh, bilge pump for the air to water intercooler. Um, just other little simple stuff. And this is a factory mounted uh, for the engine, but I am going to be putting a, a front motor plate and a mid motor plate in this car. Because I've heard a lot of horror stories of the screws 
just oblong actually these are already oblong somewhat of them just oblonging the holes and just beating the crap out of the motor mounts um, as you can see the motor mounts are right there um, so yeah I'm gonna be making this a front motor plate mid motor plate car um, I just think that's just the way to go I mean as deep as I've gotten into this car you might as well just go for it all right and I think even Opal approves too so yeah, stick around and uh, hopefully we'll uh, have some good content for you guys and and uh, hope you guys enjoy this build. And once this thing gets running, we'll be racing all over the place, making street hits. Um, Cause that's something I've always wanted to do is make some hits on the street and just kind of see what this thing will do. So hope you guys like it and uh, go from there.